On the 30th of March, 1957, the 1st Battalion of the Royal Australian Regiment was presented with the Queen's and Regimental Colours by His Excellency the Governor-General of Australia, Field Marshal Sir William Slim, at Brisbane. This is an historical record of that day. Among the distinguished personalities received by the parade are Colonel M. Austin, Colonel of the Regiment who was awarded the DSO whilst commanding the battalion during the Korean War. The honorary colonel of the regiment, Lieutenant General Sir Horace Robertson, one of Australia's most distinguished soldiers. The general officer commanding Northern Command, Major General H.G.F. Harlock. Deputy Prime Minister of Australia, the Right Honourable Sir Arthur Fatton. The Governor General of Australia, Field Marshal Sir William Slim, is met by the GOC. The distinguished guests, including the State Premier, are presented. And His Excellency moves to the dais to receive the Royal Salute. Commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel O.D. Jackson, reports the parade ready for inspection. The inspection party moves off to the battalion, which is formed up in line. The inspection of soldiers dates back hundreds of years, when commanders looked closely into the faces of their men to seek out any intruders into their ranks and to make sure that all present were loyal. The drums are brought forward and piled to form an altar for the consecration of the colours. The cased colours move from the rear of the parade. At this stage, the colours are carried by the colour sergeant. Uncased, the colours are draped on the drums by two unit majors. After completing inspection of the troops, the Governor General moves to the band.
And His Excellency returns to the dais whilst the commanding officer resumes command of the parade. The battalion is then formed into hollow square for the service of the consecration of the colours. The battalion now draws service cards and the commanding officer leads the prayers. In continual remembrance of our solemn oath, and in token of our resolve, faithfully and truly, to keep it to the end, we dedicate our colours. Reverend Sir, on behalf of the 1st Battalion, the Royal Australian Regiment, we ask you to bid God's blessing on these colours. The Chaplain's General will now consecrate, bless and dedicate the colours. Chaplain General C.L. Riley, Church of England, consecrates the colours. you consecrate and set apart these colours, that they may be a sign of our duty towards our Queen and our country in the sight of God. Amen. Chaplain General J. A. Morgan, Roman Catholic, blesses the colours. Colours which we bless in thy name, that those who follow them may be ever mindful of thy presence, guided by thy will, and guarded by thy providence. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Chaplain General Brook, Protestant denominations, dedicates the colours. Dedicate and set apart these colours that they may be a sign of our duty towards our Queen and our country in the sight of God. Amen. The colour ensigns march forward and kneel to receive the colours. The colours are then brought forward by the regimental majors. His Excellency presents the Queen's colour. His Excellency presents the regimental colour. His Excellency addresses the parade and concludes with Her Majesty the Queen now confides these colours to your keeping. Bear them in her and your country's honour with courage and service. And God speed you well. Then follows the response by Colonel Jackson who further pledges the unit to observe the sanctity of the colours. The Governor-General returns to the dais.
The colours are now received into the battalion and the unit will march past with its colours for the first time. Now the colours are lowered as they pass the saluting base. Having marched past in slow time, the battalion now marches past in quick time. The battalion reforms line and advances in review order.
As the colours are marched off, a proud and memorable day in the life of the 1st Battalion draws to a close. All members of the battalion will now look to the colours as a symbol of their duty to God and loyalty to sovereign and country.